Hello, and welcome to Poem Tonight on West Tyne Light Network. Tonight we feature a man whose life was taken, aged just 33, from tuberculosis in 1906, as we delve into poetry from the United States of America for the first time. Tonight we feature Paul Lawrence Dunbar, the late 19th and early 20th century poet born in Dayton, Ohio. His poem is A Farmhouse by the River. I know a little country place where still my heart doth linger, and over its fields is every grace lined out by memory's finger. Back from the lane where poplars grew and aspens quake and quiver, there stands all bathed in summer's glow a farmhouse by the river. Its eaves are touched with golden light, so sweetly, softly shining, and morning glories full and bright about the doors are twining. And there endowed with every grace that nature's hand could give her, there lived the angel of the place in the farmhouse by the river. Her eyes were blue, her hair was gold, her face was bright and sunny. The songs that from her bosom rolled were sweet as summer's honey. And I loved her well, that made divine, and I prayed the gracious giver that I some day might call her mine in the farmhouse by the river. T'was not to be, but God knows best. His will for I be heeded. Perhaps amid the angel's bliss my little love was needed. Her spirit from its thraldom torn went singing over the river. And that sweet life my heart shall mourn for ever and for ever. She dies one morn at early light when all the birds are singing. And heaven itself in pure delight its bells of joy seemed ringing. They laid her dust where soon and late the solemn grasses quiver, and left alone and desolate the farmhouse by the river. That was A Farmhouse by the River by Paul Lawrence Dunbar. Next time our poem will be Wild Peaches by Eleanor Wiley, as we steer with the American influence. Poem Tonight is produced by May Matthew Erskine for West Tyne Light Network, which is available on YouTube or follow us on Twitter at West Tyne. Good night. <laughs>